coming up, find out about next year's senior class trip. And find out about coming into school five days a week. All that and more starting right now on Bash TV News. The secret ingredient is love here at Bash TV News. Hello and welcome to Bash TV News for Monday, March 29th, Day 6. I'm Haley Stutzman. And I'm Renee Simmons. Please rise for the pledge to the flag, followed by a moment of silence. Effective for Wednesday, April 21st, BASH will be open for in-person learning on Wednesday throughout the remainder of the school year for any four-day-a-week students who choose to come in. We will follow our early dismissal schedule for Wednesday and provide busing for our students. At this time, BCTC students will not be able to attend their in-person tech programs on Wednesday. In addition, Thursday, April 8th is a full virtual day for all students due to the administration of the second COVID vaccine. Synchronous instruction will be provided following our normal full day schedule. BCTC transportation will be provided for our students from BASH to BCTC and back. This is similar to other days where BASC is closed and BCTC is open. All underclassmen should anticipate receiving an email the week of March 28th that will list the course requests that students have made for next year. Students and families should review this carefully to make sure the proper requests have been input in our system. Students may have until May 5th 14th to make any changes to requests. Please contact your counselor to make adjustments. And now for Bash TV News Sports with Jared. Alrighty, so over the weekend we had a ton of uh, March Madness games. Some highlights, Villanova, they lost, which kind of stinks. And Loyola Chicago, Sister Jean, unfortunately lost as well. Not a very good weekend for March Madness. The Phillies yesterday beat the Yankees 6-2, and the 76ers play the Nuggets tomorrow at 9 p.m. Make sure to watch Sherell and Beads back, and come on, we're going to win this year. Yay! All right, that's all for sports. Now back to you guys. The class of 2022 senior class trip to Orlando, Florida is officially on. There will be a parent meeting on Thursday, April 8th at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. The student meeting will take place on Friday, April 9th via Zoom during homeroom. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Freeze at dfreeze at bordertownasd.org. BASH will be conducting the Keystone exams in person during the weeks of May 17th and May 24th. Additional information will be sent out after spring break for students who are required to take the Keystone exams. Please continue to check your email. Seniors, local scholarships are now available. All applications may be found on the counseling page under the scholarship tab. Check your email for a direct link. These applications are only available for the month of March. All completed applications are due to the counseling office no later than April 1st at 4 p.m. Late applications will not be accepted for any reason. Please stop in the counseling office with any questions. And now, let's go to Connor Sargent to find out what happened at the last school board meeting. Here's what happened at the March 23rd school board meeting. Four Bash seniors were featured in the senior spotlight Tiffany Shapinsky was recognized for her perseverance through challenges in school and her life while continuing to work hard and show success in her classes. She approaches school with a positive attitude, is kind to others, and always presents herself with a smile and a friendly personality. Christopher Flores was recognized for his growth academically and socially over the past four years. Chris's GPA has improved immensely due to his consistent effort and positive attitude, and he is always respectful and pleasant. Joshua Petschult was recognized for being an intelligent, athletic, kind, and motivated person who gives his best effort in all of his endeavors. Joshua has challenged himself by taking on more dual enrollment and honors courses during his junior and senior years as he has worked hard to achieve his goals. And finally, Ashley Rupert was recognized for her hard work in school and her service to the community. She organized and participated in multiple projects such as Chalk It Up, The Halloween Hike, Creating and Delivering Thankful Jars, Making Valentines for Seniors at Frederick Living, 
and helping with the COVID clinic at BASH. Ashley is also an executive officer in NJROTC and has won many awards and medals. Student School Board representatives Sarah Drakis and Eric Mothersball presented their progress in creating a student leaders committee at BASH. Uh, our next step is to meet with the students in these leadership groups to get their feedback on our ideas and to discuss scheduling our first assembly. They also discussed their experience volunteering to help during the COVID vaccine clinic at BASH. Eric talked about the search for a replacement for his position as school board representative since he will be graduating in June. And finally, Sarah announced that BASH will host the 2022 State Student Council Leadership Conference. We are looking forward to being a part of this conference and hosting, hosting such an amazing event. Superintendent Mrs. Torsha presented that two COVID-19 vaccination clinics were held at BASH through a partnership with the medicine shop in Boyertown and that they administered nearly a thousand vaccines. Every Boyertown school district employee that chose to get vaccinated had the opportunity to get the vaccine. The COVID clinics will continue through May and will be opened up to people in the community. It, it's just a wonderful experience. Um, working with all of the volunteers, the people that are coming through the doors. They're just so excited and, and happy to, to be there and have the opportunity to um, be receiving their vaccine. Mrs. Torsha reminded everyone to continue to wear masks and social distance themselves because COVID cases in the district are experiencing a slight gain. Assistant Superintendent Mr. Stout presented the district's plan to return to five-day in-person instruction. This plan will begin the week of April 19th and continue through the remainder of the school year. It will allow students who are currently in person four days a week the opportunity to also come into school on Wednesdays. Wednesdays will continue to be half days and busing will be provided. This will only be an option for students who come in four days a week and they may choose to remain virtual on Wednesdays if they desire. The class of 2022 trip to Orlando, Florida was approved by the school board for March 8th to March 12th, 2022. The cost will be $1,700 per student. And finally, the school board approved the Bash Spanish trip to Costa Rica from April 7th to April 15th, 2022. The cost of this trip will be $3,400 per student. This is Connor Sargent, and that's what happened at the March 23rd school board meeting. And now for Bash TV News Flash Weather. Here, just so I don't get fined. <laughs> all right, all right. Looking at temperature 41, humidity 57, wind speed 12. It is pretty windy out there, guys. Lunch, you're looking at 46 and sunny. And three, you're looking at 50 and sunny. And six, you're looking at 51 and moon. You know, like a Yo. cow? I don't know. Uh, Monday, you're looking at a cold sun because it's 53 and 32 outside. Tuesday, a high 64, low 46. Round sun, it's sunny, but different. Wednesday, a high 63, low 37, rain. And Thursday, looking at a high 43, low 27, frozen rain? I don't know, that's snow. Back to you. From all of us here at Bash TV News, I'm Haley Stutzman. And I'm Renee Hold Simmons. Up, Have a wonderful spring break. I've seen a lot of pain, but I don't want to write a love song for the world. I just want to write a song about a boy and a girl. Junkies on the corner always calling my name. And the kids on the corner playing ghetto games. When I saw you getting down, girl, I hope it was you. And when I look into your eyes, I knew it was true. I said, hey, I'll be gone today, but I'll be